Well, Dr. Sears, it is such an honor for me to be able to share with you today. My first introduction to you was in 1999 when I read your family nutrition book, and I was so excited, and I've used so many concepts that you have taught about nutrition over these years to raise my family. My kids are now teenagers, 13 and 16, and I just want to thank you as we get started for mentoring me along the way as being a mom, and I'm so excited for each and every one of you who are part of this event tonight for you to be able to learn so much from Dr. Sears, and I'm, I'm really going to be here to share a few stories as we go along. I love that we are talking about this this evening because health is so important for us to focus on today. We know the statistics about our health in America today are not good. One in three women, one in two men will have cancer. We know that diabetes is an epidemic. And also, children are aging very quickly in our society today. You know, little girls in our country are reaching puberty at very young ages. And if they start their menstrual cycle prior to the age of 12, they have an increased risk of breast cancer by 50%. And that really breaks my heart as a mom, but it concerns me. And if I I know that there's a way for us to do better than I want to share with other parents too. So that's really what we're talking about today. And, and Dr. Sears, I know you're passionate about this same subject as well. Uh, yes, Julie. In fact, you mentioned the magic word passionate. And when you were uh, telling these very scary and true statistics, the word preventable just kept coming out. Yes, those are very scary statistics. But the good news, what you mentioned is preventable. And that's what we're talking about. And there's my, uh, you're in my office now, Julie, the diabetes in a bottle in my office. And you know, we pediatricians, we, we were wimps for a while. We would say, oh, we just need to, to eat better and uh, exercise more. Now we really get to moms and this is what they see when they check out of my office when they're standing there to make the next appointment if they do uh, they say okay dr bill i get the point i'm going to go home and make some changes and get all the junk drinks out of our home so interesting and today we're just faced with things like soda and all of these boxed and packaged foods that i love sharing with parents haven't been around very long you know these really started in like the mid 50s so i've had access my whole life um just a quick story as you're studying some of these dirty dozen ingredients uh, when my son was seven he won his basketball championship and the coach said we're all going to the snack bar together and he gave everybody coupons and when we got to the snack bar in the bottom right those were the choices believe it or not the only choices <laughs> I said to the lady you only have candy and she said oh no we have donuts <laughs> and I thought oh but you know Max said mom I can't have any of these and I said why and he said because they're red light foods <laughs> and I had been reading him your book Dr. Sears called eat healthy feel great and of course you teach traffic light eating in the book Green light foods are the ones we want to focus on. Go ahead and eat all you want. These are the fruits, vegetables, nuts, seeds, whole grains. And then the yellow light foods, we're going to have sometimes because we don't, you know, we don't have to be perfect eaters. We're going to have birthday cakes sometimes and pizza and things like that. But the red light foods are the ones that Max identified as those choices. And I love it. And if some of you are listening and you say, oh, no, Julie, you know, my kids are teenagers today. Well, there's good hope. You know, teenagers may not respond to traffic light eating, but they will respond to things like sports performance, hair, skin, nails, things like that. Um, and I'm on your track. <laughs> That's exactly what I, what I do in my office, Julie. You have to make, especially for teenagers, you have to make traffic light eating relevant. I don't use the term healthy foods because healthy is icky to a lot of children, all right? So I find out what are they into, all right? Uh, football foods, soccer foods, dance foods, you'll see up there tall foods. I had a child in my office come in, a 12-year-old boy, uh, Jason, and he was in for his physical, and we have this what's going on in your body talk, and mom wakes outside and says, oh, Jason, how are things going? He says, Dr. Bill, why am I so short? Aha. Uh -huh. Teachable moment, 
Well, Jason, how about I give you a list of tall foods? And I wrote them down, the, you know, the fruits and vegetables and salmon and all that good stuff. And I get a call from mom a week later. She said, what on earth did you say to my son? Now he is eating these things I've been trying to get him to eat. I just made it relevant. I called them tall foods. Love it. Love it so much. And um, I love another concept of yours that I learned. Dr. Sears calls phytochemicals, which are plant chemicals. Today, scientists call them plant nutrients, phytonutrients. Um, he calls them phytos. And I picked up on that. And when Max was little and Hannah too, I would make them a big bowl of green vegetables. And I would tell them the story about the phytos going to war inside their body. And I love this article that you're looking at. It says, um, a growing body of research shows that once inside the body, phytochemicals turn into the superheroes, basically, the role of superheroes fighting cancer and other disease. And I picked up on that, and I love that. So if you have little ones, you can teach them about phytos. <laughs> I love that. This yeah. is another concept. And Dr. Sears, you can correct me if I'm wrong on these concepts, but the whole um, concept of oxidative stress was another one that I learned from you and many other doctors. And Hannah here is representing a cell in the body. She has her fruit and vegetable shields protecting her from Max. Max represents oxidative stress or free radicals. This is another phenomenal way to teach children about these concepts of phytos, protecting their body, and also um, antioxidants. That's where they get their name. They neutralize that harmful oxidative stress. <laughs> How well, this is really true, Julie. I love your, the way you, you present this because uh, what you see here in Max and Hannah is scientifically correct. Uh, and let me go into the body a little bit and show you why. We have circulating all over our body, as you say, the fighters the phytonutrients, the phytos. The phytos are fighters. Well, we call them in medicine killer cells. And what they actually do, they circulate around the body. They're on patrol looking for terrorists. And when they see a terrorist, they actually shoot a little biochemical dart, like Max is doing, into the terrorist cell, the bad cell, and blow it up. So this is exactly correct. The phytos actually blow up the damaged cells in our body before they have a chance to grow into cancer. Oh, I just love that so much. And, you know, all of this is so important to understand, especially, you know, as, as we have children, period, because all kids are active. We hope that many of them are more active. And for those of you who are listening who have athletic children like I do, it's so important to understand this, these concepts because fruits and vegetables protect our children. And when we think about it like that, it's like putting a safety belt on them. We wouldn't let them ride in the car without that safety belt. We can't let them exercise and really live life without having the protection of the fruits and vegetables too. Mm -hmm. And uh, th this, is, this is Stephen. Uh, Julian, I love your story about Max and Hannah. I feel kind of bonded to them as, as, you know, doctors when we write books and you read the books and you do some things in the books to, to, treat, to have your children shape young tastes, we call it. So they make good decisions like Max and Hannah did. I feel I'm part of your family. So thank you. So this is Stephen. Stephen is what taught me a lot about nutrition. Stephen came into our family differently able, not disabled, but differently able. He was born with Down syndrome. And that taught me to learn the whole subject called nutrigenetics. And that simply means how nutrition can affect the genes. Now, I can never change his genes. He will always have that extra chromosome. But on that chromosome, on the genes, there are little switches, on or off. And nutrition, good nutrition, presses the off switch so he doesn't get a lot of diseases that are associated with his uh, genetic predisposition. Stephen has been our healthiest 
child. There he is. He's written up in Golf Magazine. He's a great golfer. There he is hitting a home run at Special Olympics Baseball. There he is uh, in the, at the prom, going to the prom with Gina, his girlfriend, who just straightened his tie, his messy tie. And there she is supporting him in the dugout. So nutrigenetics. So parents who have a differently abled child, you, they need an upgrade on their nutrition. They don't need to eat any differently than other children. They, they have to eat more fruits and, and vegetables. They have to eat better and more pure to turn on the genes that protect them and turn off the genes that harm them. Love that concept. And this is another concept uh, that I know you know so much about too, but I love this as a mom, just understanding an apple alone has maybe 10,000 or more ingredients. And this is a list of about 400 of the ones that they've named inside the apple, but scientists believe there are thousands of them inside of there. And when we look at the power of whole food, number one, we have to realize that we can't take a multivitamin and fill the gap in like apples and oranges and peaches and kale. You know, I love the idea of lycopene. They've taken lycopene out of the tomato to see if it prevents prostate cancer, but it actually prevents prostate cancer when it stays in the tomato, and that's because of synergy. Yes, th this is my favorite word in nutrition, Julie, synergy. And that simply means we play better as a team. So all those nutrients in the tomato, the lycopene, for example, is like the tomato sunscreen. And when you put all those nutrients together, like we see in this capsule, this Juice Plus capsule, extracts of 30 fruits and vegetables, you've got 30 team members, and they all make one another play better. And this is why whole food is so much better than isolated multivitamins, because we play better as a team is what the food would say. I love that. And we want to tell you right now about Juice Plus. Um, our journey with Juice Plus began 17 years ago when my sister shared Juice Plus with us. I was really looking for a simple change for my husband, Joel. He had become a high school principal. He was working long hours and his health was going downhill. He gained about 100 pounds in a very short period of time. And I saw Joel going down the same road as his dad. His father had a heart attack when he was 38. And I really wanted to get Joel off that road. And the picture on the left, he was 31 when we learned about Juice Plus. And look at him today, all these years later, at 47 years old. I mean, it's pretty amazing. Um, I love that my sister shared that one simple change of adding Juice Plus to our diets because it was simple enough for me to do. And Dr. Sears, I love your story about Juice Plus. Yes. Uh, well, Julie, as you saved Joel's life, my wife, Martha, now of 50 years, we just celebrate our 50th wedding anniversary, Martha saved my life 20 years ago when I was just coming home from the hospital uh, having a long operation for colon cancer. She sat me down, my nurse, and she said the three magic words, just take it, as she handed me those four capsules, two green and two pink. And I said the magic words, yes, dear. And so this opened the whole world of nutrition to me. And I'm happy to say 20 years later, at the age of almost 77, I take no regular prescription medicines. I have the blood chemistry of a teenager. And I'm enjoying the goal of every senior citizen. Everything works. <laughs> And nothing hurts. So thank you, Juice Plus. <laughs> I love it. And we want to tell you a little bit more about Juice Plus right now. Dr. Sears introduced the concept of synergy inside that capsule. And that's exactly what it is. Juice Plus comes in capsules, red fruit, green, vegetable, purple are the blues and the grapes. You can take capsules each day or you can eat these delicious chewables, kind of like the consistency of a gummy. And it is truly like eating 30 different fruits and vegetables every day. And you look at these and you see the rainbow. And then if you add a Juice Plus Complete smoothie to your diet as well, and we love that too, if you were to take 
two red, two green, and two purple capsules and drink a smoothie every day. Now it's like adding even more food to your diet, 45 fruits and vegetables. And Juice Plus is never a substitute for whole food, but we need to be eating about seven to 13 servings a day if we can. And Dr. Stevens, I know you and I are both so passionate about Juice Plus. Um, I'd love for you to talk about the shake because I know you love your smoothies as much as I do. Julie, I'm holding my shake now. <laughs> that I started making 20 years ago, and now I enjoy my daily shake. I tell my patients in my practice, a shake a day helps keep the doctor away. Mm -hmm. So a Juice Plus shake every day if you can. And the reason I like it, again, that synergy. And I say to, uh, to my patients, now, blended food is digested a little bit better. And what's interesting, you have, say you have children who don't like kale, for example. I call them sneakies. So you take what they like, like berries. Everybody loves berries. And gradually you, leave, you add one leaf of kale, another leaf of kale. They won't even know what's in there. And you're gradually shaping the taste. It's like the tongue likes kale. It's programmed to the taste bud. The tongue sends a chemical email to the brain that says, that's good for me, learn to like it. The brain sends a biochemical email down to the gut brain that says, you like the kale when it comes into you, and the child likes the kale. And it starts with a Juice Plus shake every day. Awesome. And, you know, when I first learned about Juice Plus, I'm so thankful that you know, my sister shared it because I trusted her, but I was a personal trainer for 23 years. So you can imagine that I was a little bit skeptical when I first learned about Juice Plus and I really had to do my homework when I knew that there was a change in not just Joel, this was the most special part about Juice Plus, but there was a tremendous change in my health. I went from feeling really fatigued and I didn't even know it and getting sick a lot, and I figured out that that wasn't normal. But my hair stopped coming out in the shower, I stopped having a lot of aches and pains that I had, and I realized that Juice Plus was working. And then I did my homework and learned three things that really set Juice Plus apart. First of all, it's whole food, it's not a vitamin. It has food labels, all of the Juice Plus products have food labels, so you'll see nutrition facts on the back. Also, the second thing is that Juice Plus is NSF certified. This is a third party company that does voluntary independent analysis on random batches of Juice Plus. And it's stringently testing for mold, bacteria, banned substances, heavy metals, um, and contaminants and things. And we really, I love that because we really don't know today if what we're buying for our family sometimes really does have what it says on the, on the label, but you can be sure Juice Plus does. And then finally, the clinical research is what truly sets Juice Plus apart. And I know that that's part of the reason why you are so passionate and such an advocate, Dr. Sears, and thousands of other doctors as well. Yes, and in fact, uh, Julie, I'm a show me the science doctor. And that's why it took me a while when I said yes, dear, to Martha to take it to, uh, I had to do the research. And wow, I was wowed by the research. This is the most researched, thoroughly researched fruit and vegetable supplement on the planet. In fact, it's the only one that has all this research from wonderful universities, top scientists. So the, sh the show me the science was what really sold me to prescribe Juice Plus for my family. And then in my practice, and you mentioned the magic word change, which is what we want to do. So I use my medical practice as sort of a laboratory to find out what works and what doesn't. So I would prescribe Juice Plus for my patients, especially the ones who were sick all the time or who wouldn't eat fruits and vegetables. And moms would come in and say, you know, Dr. Bill, the reason you haven't seen us so often is once we started Juice Plus and our whole family, we have not been as sick as often. I haven't missed as much work because my kids haven't had to stay home from school. And then I had some moms say, you know what? They never would eat a lot of vegetables. After starting the Juice Plus veggies, the green capsules, I call them sprinkles, you know, sprinkle them on your tongue. Open your mouth, honey, it's sprinkle time. 
once they started sprinkles and the juice plus now they willingly crave and want fruits and vegetables and that's what we we want to do as parents shape young taste get them to crave what it's good for them love that ah the juice plus you know and in fact i i love uh uh, talking to doctors about the Juice Plus science, because I can use the big words like oxidative stress and biomarkers of inflammation. <clears throat> and the one I love is, my, in fact, my favorite study, the effect of Juice Plus on impairment of the flow-mediated brachial artery vasoactivity, and then it goes on to reduce homocysteine. Now, what do all these big words mean? Now, I'm uh, Julie, I'm a pediatrician, so after you've been around children for 50 years and raised eight children for 49 years, you begin to think like a child and read like a child, and sometimes my wife says, act like a child. So I wanted to take these 30 studies of Juice Plus and has all these big words, and within 30 seconds, make it very simple for the viewers to understand. So let's do that. Now, I want you all to memorize this one slide. It's one of the most important principles of health. And that is inside your blood vessels, you have a giant pharmacy. Now there's a doctor truism that says, every organ of the body is only as healthy as the blood vessels supplying it. So if your blood vessels say to the brain are healthy, your brain's gonna be healthy. The eyes, the gut, the heart. Now, up on top is a blood vessel from say someone who, uh, a junk food eater, who just sits around and eats junk food all day. And you'll notice the sticky stuff. The sticky stuff is on top of the medicine bottles. Right now, and this won the Nobel Prize. The lining of our arteries all over our body has trillions of microscopic medicine bottles. Now, they don't look like this, but they look almost like this. They're like little squirt bottles, little glands. And they squirt out, they've identified 23 medicines, medicines that lower the highs, like high blood sugar, high blood pressure, high blood cholesterol, medicines that elevate the lows, like antidepressants, medicines that heal your hurts, like anti-inflammatories. When you eat fruits and vegetables, two things happen. You go down to the healthy artery below, and you notice the first thing that's missing, no sticky stuff on top of the medicine bottles. Sticky stuff is that stuff your doctors measure to see how healthy you are, like uh, oxidized cholesterol, homocysteine, the sticky stuff, I call it. When you eat lots of fruits and vegetables, you don't have sticky stuff on top of your medicine bottles, so they open. And another thing fruits and vegetables do, and fruits and vegetable concentrates like Juice Plus, they keep the blood cells from sticking together so your blood flows faster. And finally, that, that vasoreactivity reactivity we talked about, this is called stiff arteries. When arteries are stiff and sticky, like the above, when they're stiff and sticky, you're sick. That's the simplest explanation of illness I can give you. When your blood vessels are soft and relaxed and non-sticky, you are healthy. And that's what the fruits and vegetables do. They keep you, your blood vessels relaxed and not sticky and not stiff, and you'll live a lot longer and healthier. I just love how you take those concepts, Dr. Sears, and make them so simple, and even to, to communicate it to our children, too. Um, Dr. Sears and I have so many beautiful stories that we could share with you, and I'm going to choose one here just to share. This is a mom um, that I met along this journey, and she added Juice Plus to her family's diet, and after just um, a short period of time on Juice Plus, her son on the right, James, came into the kitchen one day, and she said, James, you're your skin looks really good. James had been suffering from acne for quite some time. And he said, Mom, it's the Juice Plus you've been giving me. 
And he said, you know, I'm feeling better. And they started noticing that he was really feeling better. And they decided to go ahead and let go of his ADHD medication. And I remember um, her sharing with me, she said, Julie, I don't know if you know a lot about ADHD medication, but it changes your child. And she said, James has been on medication since he was in first grade and he's 18 now. And she said, we let go of his medication and we feel like we have James back. James just experienced his best year in school as a freshman. This was last year. He's 19 now. Now he's a sophomore in college. And recently I got a chance to meet him in person and I just gave him a big hug. And, you know, thank goodness for the blessing of learning about something like this. And Dr. Sears, I know you love that story too, because you are such a fantastic educator on brain health. And I'd love for us to go into that a little bit too. Uh, yes. In fact, let's imagine, Julie, that, that you've, your family is full of Ds. ADD, ADHD, AD, Alzheimer's disease, uh, OCD, BPD, all the Ds. you got a family full of Ds, and you decide to go online and research the top doc in the world for my family full of Ds. And you go into top doc's office and say, doctor, I want the most scientifically proven medicine for my family full of Ds. Now, none of that stuff was side effects. I tried that once, and I, I, I want my family back. They all got all the medicines. Like you mentioned for that, that child, uh, mom says that a lot. I got my child back. So the doctor gets out a prescription pad and writes out this very prescription, what Dr. Mom said years ago, eat more fruits and veggies and go outside and play. There is more science be behind what Dr. Mom said than all the research journals about brain health and all the Ds. So eat more fruits and veggies and go outside and play. Now the reason, the reason the brain loves fruits and veggies, one big reason, the brain is mostly fat, 60% fat. This is why we are all fatheads. Okay, we're fatheads. Now, what is it about fat that makes it prone to illness and damage? You ever leave a piece of fresh fish out overnight and you smell it in the morning? It stinks. It stinks mean oxidizes. Oxidizes mean rust. It turns rancid. The brain, if it wasn't full of fruits and vegetables coming into it day and night, it would turn, it would rust. And this is why so many, the, the epidemic now of brain diseases, the brain has now overcome the heart as the number one sickest organ in America for the first time in history. Fruits and vegetables keep the brain from oxidizing or rusting. And that's why the fruits and vegetables, if the brain could talk, it would say, I love the fruits and veggies feed me more <laughs> love that and and again back to th this is this is another reason that th this this slide sum summarizes so much research but the brain is the is the most vascular organ in the whole body and point number 2 is the brain is only as healthy and smart as the blood vessels supplying it so the first thing in brain health is keep your blood vessels healthy. And you'll see this bottom line here, the bottom artery. That is from a healthy person who did what Dr. Mom said. Eat more fruits and veggies and go outside and play. Now play. What is it about movement? And this is what won the Nobel Prize. A friend of ours, Dr. Lloyd Naro, won the Nobel Prize on that. When you move, the blood flows faster over the tops of those medicine bottles and the pharmacy opens. Mm. And one of those medicines that released is called uh, VGF, VEGF, -E vascular endothelial growth factor. Okay, I call it VEG. All that means is that it's a, like a fertilizer for the brain garden. The brain is the greatest garden ever grown. Mm -hmm. And the veg that is released from your natural medicine bottles when you 
eat all the good foods here and you move more. The veg is like fertilizer for the brain garden. It helps the brain cells and all the tissue in the brain grow better. It's fertilizer. It's so fascinating. Ah, and, yes, this, and, and you know, uh, Jill, I love, um, as you mentioned with Max and, and Hannah, we learn so much by listening to children. And I, I was given a talk one day, and, um, and the kids were in the front row. And you know what kids do when they're bored? They draw. So I see this, this, these kids drawing. So after the talk, a 10-year-old girl, now 10, comes up to me, Annabelle, and says, Annabelle, uh, Annabelle says, uh, Dr. Sears, I, I really want to have more veg in my brain. And I want to open my medicine bottles and get smarter and healthier. And so I'm going to eat more fruits and vegetables. And I'm going to take my juice plus, like my mom wants me to. And I'm going to move more and get out and play more so I can make more veg. Ah, kids get it. So I hope their school teachers listen to us today. I love that one. And, and, you know, pediatricians, we are trying to get schools to put recess back in. Mm. Once schools took Ritalin, took recess out of the classrooms, the dose of Ritalin went up. Mm. Aha, there's a correlation. So now, now I have a little program I call, you remember the government program, No Child Left Behind? Well, I wanna change that to No Child Left On Their Behind, okay? And what's interesting, the newest and most scientific treatment, treatment now, or drug for ADD and ADHD is movement. Mm. So they're taking the kids, the boys usually, and they have them come to school a half hour early. And they run them around the schoolyard and they found that a lot of them could come off their medicines. Mm -hmm. And uh, a little bit about my own history, uh, going back many years ago, you know, 60 something years ago, I think I had ADHD, but it wasn't invented yet. And my fourth grade teacher, Sister Mary Ursula, Ursula means little bear in, La in Latin, she had my number. And twice a day, she would come up and grab me by the shoulder and said, Billy, you're fidgeting again. And you're staring out the window because I wanted to be out the window. And she said, go outside and run around the schoolyard three times and come back and sit still. That was my Ritalin, and it worked like a charm. Wow, that's great. It's perfect. Oh, I love, I love this, because parents are looking for simple ways to, to figure out what the diet should look like for the family. So I love this, Dr. Sears. Yes, this is, I, I needed to have something simple in my medical practice because, you know, we doctors don't have a lot of time with patients anymore. So the 5S brain health diet. In fact, this is a diet I've been on now for almost 20 years. The first, the first one, put them together, salads and spices like turmeric and black pepper. And the second is a smoothie. Ah, shake a day helps keep the doctor away, a juice plus smoothie. The third is seafood. It just so happens that the same fats in seafood are the top fats in the brain. Thank you, Dr. Mother Nature. And then the fourth S is snacking smart. Snacking, I call it grazing to my rule of twos. Eat twice as often, eat half as much, and chew twice as long. I rehearsed this with kids in my office. Choo choo times two. Choo choo times two. You know, we are a, a, a nation of gorgers. Mm -hmm. And then then I show patients my all right, say so now this this is my four S diet. Can you promise me you will eat ten fistfuls, hold up your fist, ten fistfuls of fruits and vegetables every day. So baby fist or big fist. Ten fistfuls at least the brain and the heart and every smart organ in the body needs. And they usually say no. And that's why years ago, Julie, I added a fifth S, which is the juice plus supplements to fill in the gaps when they can't eat those 10 
fistfuls of fruits and vegetables. And this is the 5S diet that I have been on, my family has been on, most of my patients are on, and it's interesting. You notice synergy we talked about? Mm -hmm. It has fruits and veggies and seafood, and they all play better as a team, and it's very colorful. Like Dr. Mom said, put more color on your plate. It's a very colorful diet. It's excellent. And I love this concept, Dr. Sears. It's like, how many servings should we be getting every day? And, you know, it's a lot. It used to be five a day, but it's so much more now because a lot of our produce is picked and sometimes sits in warehouses. It's not picked right, but it's picked green. And then we think about how our fruits and vegetables are grown with, you know, a lot of uh, contaminants. And so today we don't want to discourage people from eating them. We want to eat as many as we can every day, somewhere between five and 13 servings if you can. But you know, that's why I love Juice Plus. It's like I put a big safety net underneath our health as a family. And I'm going to do the best I can every day to get as many servings as we can. But Juice Plus is going to bridge that gap for us. Yeah, so I think, Julie, we, we actually need more fruits and vegetables nowadays than we did years ago because we're stressful living now. Our brain is under stress. Now, this, this reminds me of, of your story about that wonderful child who could come off the ADD medicines. Now, this is a, a, a research story that set the world of, of, of ADD treatment um, ahead years. This is called the Oxford Durham study. This is a picture of Oliver. Oliver was a seven-year-old boy who had such uh, fidgeting ADD that he couldn't sit still and write. This was his handwriting before the brain food diet. One month after brain food diet, notice he went from illegible to legible. Wow, so school teachers, take note, please. You put junk food into a child when they in the breakfast in the morning or at school, you get back junk behavior and junk learning. You put smart food into a child at school and at breakfast, and you get smart learning, as evidenced by this child's handwriting. So amazing. And children all over the world are being encouraged to add Juice Plus to their diet um, from this Juice Plus company because they are offering children free Juice Plus for up to four years. If children are between the ages of four years old all the way up to college age, they can actually receive their Juice Plus free with an adult sponsor. So mom can start on Juice Plus capsules or chewables, and she can sponsor her child to get it free. Dad can sponsor a child. Grandma can sponsor a child. And they really do want the family to commit to a year of taking Juice Plus and just filling out surveys about what it, what's happening in the health of the family. And you can see these amazing results that that we've touched on. My favorite one is that they're craving more fruits and vegetables. And I have this story over and over and over as I've been sharing Juice Plus with families over the years. One of my favorite stories is a friend of mine called me one day. Her son wouldn't eat vegetables. And she said, Julie, he just took a red pepper out of the refrigerator and ate it like an apple. She said, he ate the stem. Is that okay? (laughs) I said, I'm really not sure if it's okay to eat the stem. I said, did he eat the seeds? She said, they're all over his face. And, you know, ever since that day, that child has craved fruits and vegetables since that mom added Juice Plus. And I I love that. And I, I know you're a huge advocate of this study, too. And, Dr. Sears, let me say that children don't have to be four years old to take Juice Plus. They can start prior to that, right, even as babies. Uh, Yes, yes. in fact, I I started at uh, around seven months in my office, sometime between six and eight months. And um, when I do my shaping young taste sermon to my patients, and uh, I say, well, he doesn't like veggies. So I I open a green capsule and take the uh, baby's finger, and it's always, you know, babies are always saliva drooling everywhere, and I put a little bit on the baby's finger and put it on the, on the tongue or mom's finger and put it on the tongue. And I noticed the green stuff gets all over the baby's. Uh, it's kind of cute, you know, all the baby's face. And they lick it and you can tell the smile. It's like, ooh, this is good. 
And so I start that as um, between six and eight months, my, my sprinkle entry. And what I love about this study, I call it the Kids Eat Free study, is the shaping young taste. Mm -hmm. The craving, the, I, I hear this all the time, my child now craves veggies when they wouldn't eat them before. And, and this is why I think the, the Juice Plus company is not only inspiring healthy living around the world, which is their, the, our mission, but inspire healthy giving around the world. They are changing the lives of so many kids by this, I call it Kids Eat Free program. <laughs> it is, it's so fabulous. And my children have benefited so much from Juice Plus. When I first um, figured out that we were gonna start to have a family, I went into my OB and I just asked him to please look at the research behind Juice Plus because it had made such a difference in my health. I really wanted to take it during my pregnancies. And he did. He called me at home two weeks later and said, Julie, not only can you take this, I'd like to have this for my family too. And I was, I'm so thankful that he was so open-minded to looking at that science. And it impressed him so much that he wanted his children to grow up with it too. So I'm so thankful. And Hannah's actually holding a cucumber from our tower garden. This is something else you can learn about from the person who invited you to join us tonight. Uh, the tower garden is a vertical aeroponic growing system. It allows you to grow fruits and vegetables on your porch or patio. This is technology that they've been using since the 60s for the astronauts and the space station, but now we can do it too. And we can actually grow our own produce. And this is something else that our company is passionate about as well, because we are about inspiring healthy living around the world, eating more fruits and vegetables, adding Juice Plus. And I'll just close with the story. Um, we went to take our kids to see Sesame Street Live many, many years ago. And I remember thinking, oh, you know, we're going to see the Cookie Monster. That was my son's favorite. He just couldn't wait to see the Cookie Monster. And when the Cookie Monster came out on the stage, they said, are you ready for your cookie? And he said, no, I want broccoli and peppers. <laughs> well, I mean, pinch me. I would, this was right up there with the birth of my children. I was so excited because I couldn't believe that I watched the Cookie Monster dancing with broccoli and peppers and singing, me eat less cookies. And, you know, I stood there thinking about people like you, Dr. Sears, who have been so forward thinking and thinking, you know, Sesame Street gets it. They know that we can't continue the statistics that we're seeing. You know, we're seeing little children get cancer today and heart disease. And it's not the way. It's not the way it should be. And I'm so, so thankful to be alongside you, Dr. Sears, sharing this incredible message. And I just want to give you the last word and thank you so much for taking your time to share. And th thank you, Julie. And, and I went to a medical conference the other day. And the speaker, a neurologist, famous neurologist, got up and shocked the audience by saying, Alzheimer's begins in childhood. Mm. Bingo. And I want to close, too, with a story. You know, we have, you and I have so many great stories from our family. And uh, when our daughter Hayden was married years ago, she, um, uh, at the, the speech, you know, you hope they say nice things about your family. And she got up and they said, Mom and Dad, I want to thank you for giving us kids the gift of health. Mm -hmm. And that began with getting them all on Juice Plus and the 5S diet. So, Julie, let's continue to inspire healthy living around the world. <laughs> thank you so much, Dr. Sears. And thank you, each of you, for taking some time to join us. And we just want to encourage you to get back with the person who invited you to view this and ask questions. Let them know what you thought. Definitely ask about Juice Plus. We hope you'll add that to your diet. Thank you again. And take care, everyone. Good night.